Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger, where we had just stepped into the Ocean Palace. Okay, a uh, quick update though before we go ahead. Some of you may have noticed by now, uh, I deleted my Age of Wonders 2 videos. Yeah, sorry to anybody who is watching that LP, but I realized I can't actually beat that game anymore without cheating, and at that point it just it doesn't feel worth it to me. It, it's, it's not satisfactory to me, and I don't really see it being uh, a good LP at that point so I did go ahead and delete those videos and cancel that LP because I don't like having unfinished LPs on my uh, channel. I've done this before with Final Fantasy 9 and Tomb Raider 3 both of which I hope to come back at some point but for now let us continue onward. We're going through the Ocean Palace and we've got these guys so these guys are kind of interesting. Notice how they're kind of gold colored they should be susceptible to lightning-based magic, and you will, we'll see, like, uh, two other palette swaps of this. One where it's red, one where it's blue. So it's like, that's why you want to bring in, you know, you have to have Chrono, but you want to bring in Luca as well, and either Frog or Marl. That way you have a, a water representative as well. There we go. Frog learned Aerial Strike. We got the Red Needle Dual Tech and a Lightning Rod Dual Tech. So Red Needle is with Luca. Lightning Rod is with Chrono. And let's go ahead and take a look here. Next up for him is Water 2, which is going to be a while. And I don't think we'll be able to see Luminaire before we finish the uh, the Ocean Palace. So that may have to wait for a while. But it is possible to get it this early on. Ooh, got the Rune Blade. Is that for Chrono or... Uh, no, that's for Frog. Okay. Is it... Yeah, it's better than the Smiter's Blade. All right. Well then, and we have a fair amount of exploration to do in here too. And some of these things are uh, able to be switched around. There we go, Aeonian suit better than the Radian plate. Uh, but she can't, okay, let's try over here. Is it better than Luminous robe? Yes, we'll give it to you. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, you can avoid some of these fights, but I think it's much easier to just go through it. Because they don't take too long, and you kind of want that experience. You kind of really want that XP. All right. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, see, there's the blue one right there. And can, why can't I not get you? There we go. So this is one I want uh, Frog to do. And unfortunately, Frog does not have Water 2 yet. Which would make this really, really easy. So we're going to just do water and then physical attacks. There they go. There goes one. And... I don't know if that's a counterattack or not. I don't think so, because it went after Luca, And not Chrono. Sometimes you never really know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, nope. Ah, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, water. I got too used to playing other games where my, my controls are a little bit off. <laughs> so, like, I keep wanting to use the left stick for uh, actual menu navigation. It's like, I really should be using the D-pad. Because this game's not really designed with an analog stick in mind, so it's a little bit too sensitive. Where you, you think you're pushing right, but you're just a little bit to the south, so you end up going down instead. There you go, 24, good. Uh, let's go in here. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the actual path to progress is to the southeast. Uh, let's go water on that one. And attack. Okay, Blue Scouter has 300. I haven't even been paying attention there. There you go, and nope, not yet. <laughs> That's fine. We've got this other guy to deal with. Uh, yeah, Zealot Mage. Alright, let's go ahead and use a heal. Luca's really the only one that needs it, but it will at least top Frog and Chrono off. Alright. See, I told you. Now we can't use... Oh, okay. We can use text, but we shouldn't really need to. Okay, Luca can't use text. 
Yeah, this guy is not too powerful. <laughs> All right. We got an Empyrean Blade. That one is for Chrono. Yeah, better than the Zen Mato, which deals one and a half damage to magical beings, so that's not bad. That's a higher attack by 20, so I think we'll go with that instead, the Empyrean Blade. Alright, so this one, it looks like an empty room, but there's actually this switch right in the center. And these guys, yes, they are indeed just pallet swaps of each other. Uh, one heals the other, I think. We have a Jin, and I think the other one's a Bargast. Yeah, okay, no, it's a Ghoul is the, the blue ones, the Ghoul. So yeah, you gotta take down the ghoul first. And let's see how he does with physical attacks. Eh, not too bad. Muscular fusion. So that's a, uh, a dual tech, but it's a counter attack, I think. Maybe not. Either way, that guy's gone. So after one hit, the shield should be gone. Yes, shield dispelled. So now we can take him on out now. All right, that's what I like to see. Oh, by the way, uh, since we don't have the Masamune installed, we don't need the hero's badge either because that only affects the Masamune. Um, do I want the golden earring? Acuity, golden stud, uh, rage band might be might be good. Fifty percent counterattack rate. Yeah, we'll do the Rage Band. There we go. I thought we got a, a prize for that. Apparently not. Oh well. But yeah, that just brings us back over here. Uh, and... Oh no, the, the way out of here is actually through the center. Okay, I think. I could be wrong. Alright, Lightning 2. Fuck me. Well, there went that. Alright. Everybody just... Cram on the attacks. Ten thousand hertz sleep. And it missed. Good. But this other guy's gonna try again now on somebody else. And it missed. Good. Alright, let's do another heal. That should top Frog off, but it'll really help uh, Chrono and Luca. There we go. Physical attack should take these guys out. I would use lightning on them, but we're locked. I don't want to use the uh, items to try to fix that. It's not really worth it because it's going to disappear after battle anyways. You know, save items for that, like for the, the stronger fights, like boss fights and so on. Although I don't really think there's too many boss fights in this game that actually use status effects against you. If they do, it's usually like poison or sleep. Maybe paralysis. All right, let's try this one down here. We have some loot. We got Shockwave. Good. That should be for Luca. Yes. And these are enemies for her. They're, I, I, I guess they're technically orange, but they're really just, they're supposed to be red. So they're fire-based. So there we go. Fire 2. All right. Now, what is down here? We got another one of these fights where it's kind of paired off. Alright, so Chrono can attack you. Frog will do water on that one. And Luca do fire on this one. And that should be the end of the fight. Pretty nice and simple and easy. Right, perfect. I mean, we keep getting like 24 TP, so maybe we will get uh, Luminaire in here. I don't know. We're already down to 800 for like 924. 
Ah, some loot down there. I want that. We got that. It's pretty much the same fight again. All right. Uh, let's do a physical attack. Physical attack and water. Unfortunately, we can't use fire on the other one. Oh, that guy's confused. Perfect. Oh, yeah, the shockwave does that, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Didn't even pay attention. Yeah, the shockwave has a chance to confuse enemies. Alright, that just leaves this last guy here. Perfect. Alright, and what is our prize? We got a Sonic Bow, so that is actually for Marl. There we go. Alright, uh, I don't think we want to do that yet. Do we? Oh. Do it. I don't know what that actually did. I did something. Alright, let's go ahead and fight these guys. Alright, um... No, I want you physical attack. The center guy. Fire! Yeah, we'll do a water. I should probably do a heal, but we'll do a water instead. Right, that just leaves you, and now it's time for heal and attack. And that should hopefully wipe this guy out. Yep, that does it. <laughs> All right, not doing too bad. Got some levels. How's everybody doing on text? I mean, Chrono's still working on Luminaire, 754. Uh, Megaton Bomb, 75, so that's going to be soon enough. And then I think it's Flare after that is the last one for her. Uh, Water 2, 187. Oh, there's loot up there. I want that, but we can't get it from here. That's fine. I think I know how to get to it. All right. Uh, yes, attack you. And then Water, there. Fire. There we go. That should just leave that guy in the center. There we go. All right, uh, what do I want? What do I want? Let's heal the pole party or not, because we got that counterattack. Okay, I guess that works. All right, so yeah, I can't get that from here. We've got to actually go up this way and enter from another room. Not the center one. That's actually how we get out of here. We don't want to go down through the center as of yet. Uh, let's explore up this way. Hey, if only we had fire. Oh, we actually we do have fire too. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of water too. Like, we don't have water too yet. We don't need water too. We need fire too. There we go. They're all wiped out. All in one fell swoop. All right, was there something up here? Yes, there is. This is where we came in, right? Yeah, that's where we came in. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of these guys now. Remember, take out the blue one first. Blue, then the green. And we are going to... Let's do a slurp. There we go. Shell dispelled. The slurp helped. Didn't help as much as I would have liked, but it helped. There we go. 16 TP for that one. Alright, some loot. But I gotta fight these guys first. Alright, let's just do a fire two. And yeah, we'll do a heal. And then a physical attack. So that should wipe out the, the two flyers. Leaving the one guy in the center. There we go, that really helps. Not quite full health, but close enough. Alright. Got Lapis. 
There we go, learn Megaton Bomb. Now we have the Line Bomb dual tech. I don't, I'm not sure who that's with. But yeah, Luca's next one is indeed Flare. 963, that's her last tech. Uh, Line Bomb, who's that with? Frog, okay. So we got an Aeonian Helm. We'll go ahead and give that to Luca to replace the Triceratopper. Which is good. And then, if you notice over here, there's kind of a break in the wall. That's because that's actually a door. <laughs> Alright, and then this one. Yeah, let's take care of these guys. We don't have Water 2 yet. Uh, we'll just do Physical Attacks. We'll do alright with them. I could have taken them out with, with Water, but... We'll just do it this way. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it's not going to be too bad. We've already used, like, close to half of our MP just in this one uh, room in Associated Chambers. And it's like, we've still got a ways to go here, but uh, there is at least one more save point in the Ocean Palace, if I remember correctly. There we go. Yeah, this is another area, that, kind of like Magus's Castle, that feels almost like a, a final dungeon. Because if you notice, like, whenever we get into combat, it doesn't ever even change. The the music doesn't change. It's still the same song. Um, Kaiser Arm, that is for Robo. So everybody gets new weapons here, except for Isla, who just uses her fish. She never gets new weapons. And I don't need to fight these guys again. This is that one uh, that we saw earlier that we couldn't get to. I think that may have been the, the switch up top is what that did. Either way, we're ready to go here. And now we got a new enemy type. All right, uh, what do I want? Let's do attack on the monk who has 666 health. There we go. Fire. Water. And that should leave the last guy. Yeah, notice how the music doesn't even change. It's still the same exact song. Same music. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good song. Don't get me wrong. Alright, so now we have two choices. We can either follow the stairs down or head through here. Oh. Damn, I guess that's not going to work. There's supposed to be an elevator here. Maybe we get there somewhere else. Or maybe we ride it back up. I don't remember. I guess we have to fight our way down. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and do a... Actually, let's see some of these new things. Let's try Lightning Rod. There we go. That's a good one. Alright, and let's see Megaton Bomb. Blast enemy was within a circle, so... That has... It's it's like based on like who you uh, select to attack. There's a certain radius. Combo counter. Oh shit, I forgot about that. So yeah, when you have two of these guys together, when you attack one, they counter. Thankfully, it didn't do both of them. That would have really sucked. Um, uh, let's do a heal. Thank you. That should help us out a bit. Because Luca needs some health. Alright, uh, let's try... Did I show Sword Stream already? I'm not sure. It's basically the water version of like Fire Sword and Ice Sword. Uh, let's do Physical Attacks. There we go. Take out one of them. Alright, so that leaves... We'll do Aerial Strike. So yeah, you can see from the Lightning Rod, that's like that component of it. There we go. 32 TP. Good. Lapis. Luca's level increased. Alright, still waiting on Water 2. So yeah, these guys. We have to pretty much fight them all at once down here. All right, um, bu -bu -bu bum. Okay, this is gonna be rough, probably. Uh, red needle, impale an enemy with a fiery blade. Frenzy, we'll do that one as well. Ooh, that guy's gone. That was a strong attack. 
So Frenzy is kind of like Cleave, except it's like four hits at, in one. All right, uh, let's do Line Bomb. There we go. That should help with the last two here. And then just a physical attack. There we go. Combo counter. Yeah, Luca's MP is almost gone. It's actually not that strong of a hit. But yeah, you hit one while there's two together, and uh, you get the combo counter, and it, I guess it does both of them now. Because we hit both of them. Alright. Oh, Frog is either confused. Yeah, Frog is confused. Damn it. That's okay. We'll take that one out. Frog is no longer confused. And now we should have Water 2, right? Yes, now we have Water 2. And we finally have the Delta Storm Triple Tech. So that's like the big reason why I wanted uh, Luca and Frog here. And I think that might actually be our first... Tri no, it's our second Triple Tech. Because we have Ring of Fire with Chrono, Luca, and Robo. And then we have Delta Storm. Which requires uh, second tier lightning, fire, and water magic to, to pull off. And it's pretty much exactly as it, as it seems. You hit all foes on the screen, all enemies on the screen, with all three attacks. Oh, I wanted to check out Frog. So next up is Cure 2, which is like Slurp, but stronger. And unlike Heal, uh, Heal only does... Heal does the entire party. Whereas Cure 2 does like a larger amount, but only to one person. And then after that will be Frog Smash, I think. Yeah, because that's the same part where Frenzy and Megaton Barm are. Alright, so we got these guys. More of them. Well, let's do a heal first. And let's do a... Uh, let's just do physical attacks. There we go. That one's confused, at least. Alright, attack, attack, and... We'll do another heal. Actually, what I should do is show off uh, Delta attack. I might do that on this next round. Gotta wait for Luca. Hopefully we have enough. No, we don't have enough for Delta Storm. Damn you, Luca. Alright. Do I not have any regular ethers? No, apparently. Fine, we'll do it that way. And... While they go to town just wiping the mat with us. There you go. Now let's do Delta Storm. Alright. There's the water, the fire, and I guess the white is the lightning. But that's a pretty strong attack. Wipes them out. Perfect. Oh, that's going to keep hurting us, too. All right. Who do we have here? Oof. Is he going to wander off, or is he going to join in the fight? We got some new guys here as well. Alright, let's do another Delta Storm. Why not? That takes out the rest of Frog's MP. But that should just wipe the entire party out. Wipe out all the enemies. Yes, indeedy. Alright. Dreamstone has been used throughout the ages. The Mamma machine and that pendant were made from it, and so was that knife. We are the embodiment of Melchior's hope, sealed within the knife. Hurry, if you mean to confront the queen. Hope rests in your hands. So yeah, Masa is kind of giving you a clue as to what's going to happen with that knife. <laughs> ah, I can feel it. The pulse of life eternal. <laughs> what? What is this dark energy? Ugh. Ugh. The Mamma Machine. Your Majesty, it's too dangerous to continue. Mother! 
Don't stop, Shala. We've only a little longer to go. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the eternal glory it deserves. <laughs> so long have I waited.